Okay. Hey, oh my god. First of all, I'm gonna take off these lashes. Ugh, much better. Sweet relief. Hey, what's shapoppin'? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Peter. Okay, y'all. I have been gone for a freaking minute again. What's new? I am a horrible YouTuber. I need to be more consistent. Like, I really do. But I'm trash. Like, literally trash. I can't be consistent for the life of me. Oh my gosh, can we just be like, can we have like a relaxed video? No professional lighting, just us. So in today's video, I wanna do a story time because it is story time Sunday and y'all already know I was iconic for the story times. Like my story times were so funny and so hilarious and I have been going through some stuff and it, it's, it's been needing a while. It's definitely been needing a while. It's been a minute. So in this story time, I'm not here to clickbait you. I literally, every time I'm with my high school friends, they always tell me about the crazy that I used to do in high school. And I used to do the most insane one. I feel like in the yearbook, I, I was voted like craziest person ever. Anyway, let's get on to the story time. Go ahead and sit down, get comfortable, grab some snacks, and without further ado, let's get on into it, shall we? Sha pop pop. Okay, I'm literally gonna get unready with you guys because like, it's already nighttime. I want to get relaxed. I want to get comfortable. I feel like we're already on that level, sis, that we're so comfortable with each other. So let me go grab some makeup and order. Hold up. So first of all, where does the story time begin, actually? So it was um, junior year of my high school experience. It was, I don't know what year it was exactly, but I remember it was junior year. And um, it was a time where Twitter is a thing and it was like just taking off, right? And there was all these like, I remember there were like Twitter accounts that would like, um, I was in swim team in high school. So in, in the time that this was happening, there was like account made for all the hot, um, all the hot athletes in the SoCal. I don't know if anyone remembers this account, but like it was called like SoCal athletes or something like that. I don't remember, but it was like about the football players, about really hot cheerleaders. And you could tell all these girls were hoes. Everyone on that site was a no, like everyone on there was a site. Or I was just mad that I wasn't on there to be honest. Okay, but um, one time they shouted out this guy. I never paid attention to these sites because like I didn't care. Um, but one time they shouted out this guy and um, I thought he was so attractive. My So if you guys know me, my type is actually like white boys. I'm in love with white boys. I don't know why I love them to death. Their brown eyes get, their blue eyes get me every single time. And uh, honey, they just make me, they just make me wet, like wet. Honey, they make me drip like no other. Anyway, they're cute. That's my type. So slide in my DMs. <laughs> that and country boys. Ooh, honey, I can go for a good cowboy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God. Did I get in my eye? Long story short, I thought he was like a really cute guy, right? So I decided, oh my god, like, he's adorable, like, let me follow him, not even knowing, like, what's gonna happen. And I remember everyone at Chino's High School knew who this guy was, and all the girls were in love with him, too. Like, he was that cute. Like, he was in swim team, and he was just, like, a cute guy. Like, cute. Had abs and everything. Nice physique. And, like, I remember his background story was really, really, really sad, because, like, he used to be super obese, and I think in middle school, like, super morbidly obese. And then he just got hot. Like, it was crazy. So I feel like that's... Oh my god, I have lash glue on my eyes. I feel like that's his background story, and that's why he got really, really popular. But everyone knew him at the school that he went to. I don't know. He lived in Rancho Cucamonga, I remember. But, okay, anyway, before I was getting into it. So, one night, um... One night, one night, one night, one day, one day, one day, he tweeted, like... If anyone ever needs me, if anyone needs some support, like, I'm always here, like, to talk to and stuff like that, um, my DMs are, are always open. And one night, my little hoe ass thought, oh my god, like, I'm so sad. Like, I'm so sad. I wasn't even that sad. I just told myself I was depressed. And I told myself, oh my god, I'm so sad, like, just so sad. Maybe I could bring up something and talk to him. Which, don't use a mental illness to talk to anyone. Only Peter would say that. But anyway, besides the fact that I used a legit mental illness, talked to the crush on, on online. Um, <gasps> one day I told him like, oh my God, like I'm so sad right now. Like, please help me out. I need someone to talk to. And he was like, oh, like I'm here. Like what's wrong? And I was like, I don't know. I just feel so lonely. Anyway, I told him a bunch of stuff, right? Cause you know, I wanted to be a hoe. I wanted to live life. I wanted to live life dangerously. I wanted to see what it'd be like to get at my crush yet again. Like that, that already didn't happen. 
how life so I think it was that night that I don't know what what went where but I remember we were talking for a little bit and we became friends at the time we were friends for like a minute you know on, like online friends pen pals if you will he lived in Rancho I lived in Chino Hills and we got along because we were in swim team and we were gonna I think we were gonna see each other for a meet a meet a track meet a, a swim a swim meet that was coming up and all the schools get together and stuff so, long story short, we meet up at this meet. Okay, I go to the meet. We're racing again. We're not racing against each other. I think he was faster than I was. I think he was like five seconds faster. Um, but we see there, there. We see each other there, and we start talking and conversating. And he seems really cool, right? But like, yet he's like a super straight guy. But you can tell that he's. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell someone's gay, but like they don't want to come out yet. But you can totally tell they're gay. That was him. But like, yet he had like a manly side to him, so it wasn't like that crazy. But I still got with them. I'm a hoe. I'm such a hoe. I'm such a freaking hoe. So one night after the swim meet, um, we get to texting a little bit more. I think it's like a couple months. No, it's a couple weeks in into it. We were talking for a good a good amount. This was definitely a mission. Um, but we're talking and little little thing goes somewhere and he's like oh my god like do you want to hang out right now like i'm bored and he looked all the way in rancho and i think it was already like nine o'clock and i was like yeah i'm down but can i bring my friend along i don't want to drive alone obviously like this was me barely getting a license like and rancho was really far at the time so like i didn't want to go alone so my ass brings one of my best friends and her name is sam i don't know if you guys ever meet, met sam but she's more quiet she's always hidden a little bit she's like my secret friend and uh, I bring Sam, and she drives along with me to Rancho Cucamonga, and we're like laughing about it. We're so excited we're gonna meet this Twitter famous star. Oh, did I even mention this guy was Twitter famous? Like he had a bunch of followers because he was hot. And we were gonna, we were like, oh my god, like we can't do like we're controlling, we're completely fangirling. I still have mascara under my eyelashes. We thought we were living on the edge. We were living the life. Like, we were like, is this what famous people feel like? We're just gonna go hang out with someone famous, you know? And this was before YouTube, so this was like before I was Peter Bread. I wonder if this guy still remembers me. If he ever, if he like sees me on Instagram or on like in actual videos, he's like, oh my god, like I used to talk to that kid. <laughs> Cringe. What a love story. So we finally meet up to this guy's house and he tells me, oh my god, like, park up the hill, like, oh, because he was in the closet. Actually, I think he did come out to me and that was, that was the reason why I was going to go meet him. I think he did come out to me. And um, long story short, we get to talking with me and my friend in the car and we were talking about everything. And then my friend gets out of the car because obviously, like, we and him wanted to be alone at the time. And my friend gets out of the car, she knowing, like, knowing what, what was going to happen. She knew what was going to happen. She knew I was a hoe. She knew it. She, she, her mom, her parents, everybody knew it. My mom even knew it. After my friend gets out of the car, oh my God, we go to the park. Okay, I remember what happened. Literally trying to remember. So we go to a park. So we go to a park, and we're playing on the swings, and I've been to this park before, like, actually for Easter, and I remember I was like, okay, something's really weird about this park at night, like, I remember, like, it was coming out to me, and I remember there was a bunch of freaking homeless at this park, so when we were playing on the swing, out of nowhere, like, homeless people were using the bathrooms, and we thought it was just normal people playing, you know, around, um, because some people had kids, oh my god, that is so sad, but we saw kids, and we thought, oh my god, like, the park's open, let's just hang out at the park for a bit, and then we saw, and then we ended up realizing they're homeless, so we had to get out out of there it was it was all bad I feel like we were, it was in the moment and plus we were like so young so we didn't know what what the heck was going on but now that I feel like it's fine like they wouldn't really do anything could you imagine going to a full-on park and it'd be lit AF but it's actually just with homeless people that is the saddest thing I've ever done oh my gosh oh my gosh what is wrong with me so we go back to Jacob's house and it's already gonna be like 12 maybe 1 o'clock and I think it is a school night at this night so I'm like I have to go first of all I snuck out of my bedroom to go there and then I had to push my car out into the street I did the absolute most to get to this guy again men ain't shit men ain't shit at the end of the day they're trash we get to his house and I am telling him I have to say goodbye and out of nowhere this dude okay after having the most amazing night of my life like literally having fun with this guy I thought we were gonna be friends forever right and I say goodbye like I walk him to like out of the car into the street and I say goodbye and he's like okay goodbye and then out of nowhere he literally reached out and kissed me the guy literally kissed me and I was like starstruck AF I was like what just happened you know and he was like oh sucks you have to leave so soon and I was like dude don't play me like this right now you literally just kissed me and I and I have to you know I have to leave and you literally said sucks you have to be here so soon you have to leave so soon like don't do that to me boo boo like come on you already know my struggle
So me being me, I told him, oh no, it's fine. Maybe I can stay out just a little bit longer. So we get back into my car and my friend, Sam at the time starts driving the car around the block and me and the guy in the back we sit in the back and we just start kissing we're literally kissing while my friend my best friend's driving the car hashtag goals hashtag romance is dead hashtag teenage romance I have no idea let me write a freaking novel for you my love life is trash and but where is he now where is he now no clue. He went to, like, UC Irvine or something, got a degree. I wonder if he still notices me. I see him on Instagram here and there. Like, they want me to follow him. I wonder if he's Instagram famous now. I have no no clue. I have no idea. Oh, I saw him on Grindr once before, though. That's some tea. That's the, ri that's the real tea right there. Honey. Obviously, he ain't if he's still on Grindr. Garbage. Okay, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that story time. If you guys want more story times, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys did, if you guys don't want story times, you guys want like whole new content, give it a thumbs down because your opinions matter on YouTube. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. And without further ado, you guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.